Alrighty, so in this video, I am going to show you how I embellish this kitchen towel without using a sewing machine. Let's go. All right, guys, for this project, you're, you're going to need a couple of things. You're going to need a thin kitchen towel. This is a, I guess it's called waffle weave. And this is a, oh, okay, this is mainstay. So this came from Walmart. And I think this came in a four pack or a five pack. So you'll need a towel. You'll need some fabric. You'll need some scissors, a hot iron, and you're going to need some heat and bond ultra hold. And this is the heat and bond ultra hold. It's the red and white wrapper, not the purple and white wrapper. I'm going to use this cardboard as my guide so I can measure off how wide I want my fabric to be that I'm going to put above these here stripes and I'll just show you how I'm going to do this. I'm not sure if it will really work, but what I'm going to do for this video, I'm going to put the towel together and then I'm going to throw it in the washer <laughs> so that I can, um, see if it holds up in the wash. That's my biggest question is, will it hold up in the wash? Because someone says, well, is there anything that can be done for towels that don't require sewing? And my initial response was, no, I don't know anything that you could do, but we're gonna try and see if this works. And if this works, this is a win for sewers and non-sewers. Because sometimes you just wanna do something quick without having to break out your sewing machine. You know, if you're someone who keeps your sewing machine stored away or in a closet or something, because I know everybody doesn't sew every day or even every week. I really like this material. Got this print fabric from Walmart as well. I do know that off the top of my head because it came in a pack, like a bunch of little quarters so that's where I got the fabric from. And I'm just cutting right above where that crease was at because I don't want a whole lot of fabric bulk up under the piece that's going to be placed on to the towel. I'm going to iron that again just to make sure that my crease stays put. Make sure there is no lint hot and under there. Okay, I think that's a snag, that's fine. But what I'm gonna do next is figure out where on this towel I wanna place this. And dealing with stripes can be a little tricky because you don't want, you know, big gaps. You want it to be as even as possible. And now I'm going to fold this under and place it against there. And I'm going to iron it to press that fold in. And then I'm going to come and do the same thing over here. Just fold it in to kind of get it where it needs to be. And I guess if you didn't like the stripes, oh, that would be even better looking. You know what y'all? I'm about to just cover these stripes up. I mean, the stripes are cute and all, but yeah, I'm going to cover these up. Huh? I guess I should have cut that. Okay. So 
the next thing I'm going to do, because I am going to cover those stripes, I'm going to get some heat and bond ultra hold. And I've got two steps that I need to do with this. I've got some scrap pieces that I'm going to utilize for the first part. And I do try to save as many scrap pieces as I can. And I'm going to put this under here. And I probably don't need that much. That's going to be a whole lot. So let's cut this in half. Okay, so that's hiding under there pretty well. I'm going to apply heat so that it'll activate it or get it to melt in. And then I'll take the paper off and press it down again. But I'm not going to take the paper off yet because it's hot. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm going to use a strip. And let's tear that off because we don't need that much hanging out. And I'm going to press it. Just press it. Sorry, I had to look to see if my iron was getting dirty because I saw it pull the fabric up. Now this side is cool. I'm going to take that paper off. Press it down again. This side should be cool. Take that paper off and press it down again. Next step, we are going to get the heat and bond ultra hold again. Now we're going to see just how much we need to put on the wrong side of this piece of fabric. Oh, I hear my puppy downstairs. She's not a puppy. She's a full grown dog, but nobody else is here right now. And she's not allowed in my sewing room because I do make things that I sell to people. And I'm sorry, but one thing I will not do is have someone emailing me or whatever saying that, hey, there was dog hair or something on this or on that. So to avoid that, this is just the one room she's not allowed in. And normally someone else is home, but the guys will be home any minute now, actually. So if you hear, oh, there she goes. I'm going to see if she needs to go outside and I will be right back. I'm going to guess it's good timing too because I'll let that cool and I'll be right back okay so this should be cooled off I'm gonna peel it off of the paper towel this is why I use paper towel because I would rather waste paper towel than to have all of this covered in sticky adhesive stuff And that did not stick well. So that just tells me I've got to got to press again. And sometimes that will happen. You'll you'll need to apply a little bit more heat for a little longer time than the instructions actually say. So I'll do that. Then I'll turn it around so I can do the same thing on this side. Then I'm just going to you can see nope. don't know it's going to take a little longer than I want it to and 
Now on this side is adhered good. So I'm not sure what's going on up here. So it's getting direct heat now. That's hot. Let me turn the steam off. Now just keep pressing for a few minutes. And I'm just trying to show you every step that I take so that you'll see what I do or don't go through. Um, I certainly could just hit pause and just keep ironing, but I'm just going to go through and do this. Hopefully it won't take too much more. See that sticks very well. And you can see that it sticks because it's nice and shiny. Don't worry about this because you're going to pick that off. Anyhow, you're not going to iron the paper towel in the, the side adhesive onto your project your project being that kitchen towel okay so it did all stick and you clean up the sides but try not to take it off of your actual fabric okay so if you could clean it up without taking it off that's great you could use scissors if you're very careful and clip the sides off. And since my towel is white, I am not going to worry too much about the adhesive stuff overlapping. And I am going to cover up that black and white. Yes, I am. Okay, so now we've got the heat and bond ultra hold onto the fabric going to see where I want to put this at. Make sure any extra lint and whatnot is off of there. And make sure that you do have the right side of the towel. You don't want to put it on the back of the towel where that, that seam comes in at. That's the back of the towel. So this is the front of the towel. This little piece right here, that's just a string. I'm not even going to bother with it. And I am going to put the print right here. Line that up. Just want to make sure I'm covering as much as possible, I'm getting it as straight as possible. And now I'm going to iron again. Now, this is steam. And this towel is. 100% cotton. So I'm not worried about the iron melting it. Um, there are some towels that have high and sometimes they're a hundred percent polyester, uh, material. I would not want to just run a iron over it without using something to protect your iron and to protect the item. Okay, that is actually sticking. Okay, I'm going to press just a little bit more and then I'm going to turn it over and press again because I want to make sure all the adhesive is activated that I can possibly get activated. So I'll turn it over. Of course, you still have your black and white stripes here. I'm sorry, I think my arms have been in front of the camera this whole time. Alrighty, so now I'm going to let this cool off and then I'm going to throw it in the washer to see how it holds up. Alrighty, it is done washing. It did actually get washed. It's soaking wet and we're going to throw this in the dryer and see how it holds up. Alrighty guys. So now I have the towel out of the dryer. It has officially been washed and dried in the machines and it held up pretty good. So tell me what you think. We have officially upgraded or embellished a kitchen towel 
without using a sewing machine. This is just cotton fabric, heat and bond ultra hold, some scissors and an iron. And there you have it. Thanks for watching. I hope that you'll like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.